Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Jamil from Cosmic Media. Um, back again today to provide you with two strategies on, uh, well, actually, one strategy for two subjects. First one is going to be how to reach out to record labels. So if you're an artist and uh, you're interested in really getting the labels and specifically A&Rs at the label, but if you're looking to get your music out there for A&Rs to hear your music and uh, possibly hit you up, um, I'm going to give you the strategy, uh, one technique, one way, uh, one cool way that I like to actually be able to reach out to them. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is help you reach out to music supervisors, um, also known as music directors. Um, that's one that people find a little bit tough to actually do um, with Facebook ads because, uh, or just in general, just reaching out because so many people are reaching out to music supervisors. It's hard to even find music supervisors or music directors. So um, I'm going to show you a little ad uh, that's going to show you exactly how to do that. So... All right, so we're starting at looking at making your objective. Um, so for now, we're gonna do the brand awareness thing. Um, you know, you guys, I'm actually gonna have a link down below this video. Uh, this will actually show you a way to not just reach out to the labels or the music supervisors to actually, this. I'm gonna show you a technique to actually how to convert uh, these people. So make them listen to your music and actually hit you up. Um, so, um, download my uh, cheat sheet that tells you step by step how to do that and that'll cover this whole info and I'll go over that if you're interested uh, but for now for the sake of this video we're just gonna do brand awareness so let's go do brand awareness okay so now that we're here, um, we're going to scroll down to detailed <clears throat> marketing. Now, once again, this all takes place in your ad manager. So uh, if you're not familiar with ad manager, um, you know, I'll, I'll post a link on some info on finding out a little more about it. But if you do know about it, go there, uh, go to the detailed targeting area. So let's start with uh, the record labels, right? So let's type in capital records. All right, now here's the thing. If you look right here to the right, it says interest. We don't want people interested in Capitol Records because that could be just a regular person who goes to the Facebook page of Capitol Records and just hits like. So we want people that actually put in their, uh, their title or their bio um, or their about them page that says that they're actually employers at Capitol Records. That's gonna give you the best chances. Um, you know, sometimes people put that on their on their objective and maybe they haven't updated it or whatever, but uh, this is about, as you see, about 4,552 people. So I'm, I'm, bet, I'm betting there's gonna be a few thousand in there that still work for Capitol Records. So let's put that in there. We're gonna go down, do Sony Music. We're gonna do Warner Brothers. That's the good thing about Facebook too is, or, uh, you know, this little algorithm is they allow you to, uh, once you put in Capitol Records, they'll start uh, putting down audiences that are just like it. So we're going to do Universal Records, Virgin Records, Columbia Records. I mean, we can go down forever doing all these different um, record labels. But for now, for the sake of time, um, I'm just going to actually stop right there. And then you can, you can add more later. Um, so then... Now, uh, now we got all these record labels, right? Now, some people on here, I mean, you know, once again, Capitol Records, 4,552. You might get somebody who's a janitor that works at Capitol that's going to go under this category. And you definitely don't want to waste your money on advertising to a janitor or somebody who's in that situation. Not that I got something wrong with janitors because, you know, obviously you got to make money too. But you don't want to reach out to them. You don't want to send them music, right? So right here, you want to go to narrow audience. Now, you could do this so many different ways, but um, this, for the sake of this, this video, I'm going to make it real simple um, because you, you really don't want to, um, you don't, every time you create one of these ads, you want to make it as simple as possible, right? So for example, if you do capital records, if you, if you, if you're going after labels, you should actually do one ad that goes after only record, uh, capital records. And then do another ad that goes only after Columbia Records and another ad that goes after Sony. The reason why you want to do that is because then that'll kind of help you to see exactly how much 
money you're spending on each of those people and how many are actually responding to you, right? But I'm going to go over that, you know, some other time later or feel free to comment and ask me questions too specifically on that. But for the sake of this video, um, I'm going to go down to the narrow audience section and I'm going to type in A&R, but artists and, oops, spelled that wrong. Artists and, there we go, repertoire. Hope I said that right. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're going to go after uh, them. So now what this means, now this is somebody, uh, let's take a look at this. Now, once again, here's the thing. You got you got somebody who's a A&R manager, talent manager, A&R executive. Um, really, you know, you can you can highlight all of these. But the problem is you might start reaching out to people that, you know, you know, a slash R manager that you don't even 100 percent know what that means. That might not actually be an A&R. That might be somebody who works at some other company. So. Once again, that's why you want to do separate ads for each of these things. So for now, I'm just going to do artists and repertoire. Now, what this means is somebody at Capitol Records, somebody at Columbia, Sony, and Universal. I'm reaching out to somebody who's there who has the job title of artist and repertoire. So now you're going to be able to reach out specifically to them. <clears throat> and then from there, you can do things like excluding. So... Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of options under excluding people. Uh, maybe you want to exclude somebody who I don't even know what you'd exclude. You know, maybe somebody that's, you know, been working at um, working at at the, you know, working as an A&R for the last two years or three years. But you wouldn't want to do that. So to keep it safe, this is a really good strategy on how to uh, go after these people. And once again, um, download the link eventually below that I'm going to put down there. Uh, it's going to tell you how to not just reach out to these people with a video or a song, but how to actually convert them because this is just the first part. This is just reaching them. You also want to be able to target these people and try to have a conversation with them. So I'll show you down below a cheat sheet. Uh, download the cheat sheet and it'll give you a step by step on how to do that. So, all right. So now that we got this all done, let's go ahead and clear, clear this. just a second to do that all right so now this is all this is all got done so the labels it's all good now we're going to the music directors uh, slash music supervisors right so from here once again down to detailed targeting oh <coughs> damn <clears throat> anyway sorry about that uh, we're gonna go down to uh, detailed targeting uh, so we want to go after um, <clears throat> now here you got to get a little more creative, right? Because music directors and supervisors are everywhere. Um, I had some music, um, a while back, uh, a song that was the theme song for T.I. and Tiny for the first three seasons. Um, so we, uh, shout out to Joel Margolis, by the way, too. He produced the beat and everything, but, uh, but we had the song for, uh, T.I. and Tiny and that was for VH1. So what you would do in this case is go after VH, VH1, right? Um, and you would want to go after the music director there. So uh, let's say the person is an employer of VH1, right? Now, of course, you got other networks. You got MTV. Let's go after MTV. Let's see what else this auto thing cre creates. So HBO, sure, we'll go after them. Um, okay, now it's changed a little bit, but now we're going to go after, um, BET because that was one, two that just popped up. Once again, don't get the interest. If you get the interest, you're going to be wasting your money going after people that have nothing to do with BET. So make sure you do employers. So employers. All right. So once again, you can go down the list. You can do movie, uh, companies and everything. But for now, for the sake, like I said, of this video, I'm just going to do that. Now you want to narrow the audience. You want to click narrow. And once again, just like you did that for the labels, you want to do music directors. Ah. Oh, sorry. Not directors. Psst, I don't know what I'm talking. Yeah. Music director. So now you want to go after somebody that says job title, which is a music director. <clears throat> Another thing, too, underneath here, it says employers, too. Um, job titles is probably going to give you a better result 
an employer, I mean, that's going to be somebody that, I mean, you just don't, you, you can't be 100% sure exactly what that means. I mean, that might be somebody that, you know, works, you know, works for a company that's a, that's a director, but you want to go after job title. I mean, that's the best way to explain it. So I would say job title. I mean, you could put that one down just in case. In fact, let's do that just so we got it. Um, but I'm, I'm willing to bet that the one that's really going to be, you know, give you the most success is going to be this one that says, um, uh, that says job title right here. Um, so anyways, so now you got this little setup right here. Um, this will not guarantee that you get your music placed, but once again, what it's going to do is it's going to show your music specifically to these people. Now, once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a cheat sheet down below that'll tell you how to target these people. Um, you know, so make sure you, you scroll down into this feed, um, on my blog that'll actually give you a little link uh, to download that. But, um, you know, the reason for it is because you could send some music to BET and the directors there, but that doesn't mean that they're going to listen to it. That doesn't mean they're necessarily interested. So you need a little bit of a guide. So I'll give you a breakdown on how to do that. But for now, uh, this is how you reach out to record labels. This is how you reach out to music supervisors slash directors. And, um, yeah, if you have any, if you guys have any question, please comment, um, Feel free to uh, write me on my Facebook page. Um, either way, uh, I'll definitely get back to you. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Peace.